iPad Mini was just announced. I'm Doug. I'm a Time Technology Editor. Here are 10 things you need to know about the iPad Mini. For starters, it's smaller, really. That's how we're drawing people in. The iPad Mini is smaller than the regular iPad. Fascinating. It, it just seems like we're mailing it in. Also because it's not even spelled right. You, it's spelled Smollett. So, all right, keep going. It's got a 7.9 inch screen diagonally measured. The tablet itself measures 7.87 inches tall by 5.3 inches wide by 0.28 inches thick and weighs just shy of 0.7 pounds. Price and availability. It starts at $329 and will be available November 2nd. And yes, there will be a 4G LTE option. That pricing starts at $459 and will be available two weeks after the Wi-Fi version on November 16th. Uh, this time around you have Sprint as an available provider along with Verizon and AT&T. That was two things in one. The screen's resolution is 1024 by 768. That's the same screen resolution as the first iPad and the iPad 2 for your reference. It's not a retina screen. The bezel surrounding either side of the screen is thinner than the bezel surrounding the full-size iPads, which should hopefully make it easier to hold in one hand. 7.9 inch screen. If you've got big man hands like me, you'll be able to hold it with one hand. If you're a baby, <laughs> how'd you get your parents to buy you an iPad? That's pretty great. Congratulations, baby. The processor is similar to the processor found in the iPad 2. It is a dual core. A5 processor. The cameras are on par with the newest version of the full-size iPad. You have a front-facing 720p high-definition FaceTime camera and a rear-facing 5 megapixel iSight camera. Speaking of the new iPad, alongside the iPad mini, Apple announced a new version of the full-size Retina Display iPad that was announced back in March. So this newest version starts at $499, same as the version announced back in March. But Apple says now has twice the graphics performance, twice the processing power, a new front-facing HD FaceTime camera, twice the Wi-Fi performance, and uh, Sprint is added to the list of LTE providers. So you're not going to get any sympathy for me because I bought the new iPad back in March. And now it's a total pile of crap. I know. It's not fair. It's not fair. And I hate it. I hate my iPad now, right? That's what, that's what they want you to do. The iPad mini uses Apple's new smaller lightning connector instead of the 30 pin dock connector that was announced, uh, rolled out with the iPhone 5. So that shouldn't be hugely surprising. And last but certainly not least, the iPad mini has its own version of the smart cover that was introduced alongside the iPad 2. So you can accessorize with different colors. It's got the magnetic hookup and all that kind of stuff. That was actually nine things because the eighth point about the new Retina iPad had nothing to do with the iPad mini. This is supposed to be 10 things you should know about the iPad mini. I'm just saying it's sloppy journal. We've been, we've been doing sloppy. We started out sloppy. We're ending sloppy. It's a, this is a sloppy journalism. It's not, it's not a good thing. No, I'm not going to reshoot this. I'm going to, I'm not going to reshoot it. I'm too angry about it because the iPad I bought in March is already obsolete. That's why. Guess I'll go buy a new one. Just keep buying iPads.